I didn't read anymore. Did I read anymore? I read two more chapters. But I'm really excited. We're going to see the main tonight. Oh, I need the next book so much. Right now, I'm not okay. This is a poetry collection. I think we can make it. I finished Before the Devil Breaks You by Lilla Bray, Inner Demons by Sarah Cannon, Queen of Nothing by Holly Black, and I finished my NaNoWriMo novel. Yeah, I thought about it today. <laughs> it's called The Bite Me Box. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday, and welcome back to a new weekly reading vlog. Hi, if you're new here, my name's Katie. It's about 6.15 in the morning. I had a class to teach this morning, so I just finished up with that. It went really well. I get this question in like every single vlog. I teach English to kids in China online, and uh, it's usually about four kids at a time, and sometimes there's technical difficulties because it's over the computer, and so it's just always really frustrating when the sound isn't working for the kids or something because, like, I want them to get their money's worth, like, I want them to actually be able to participate in the lesson, and sometimes, like, their screens aren't working, so they can't do the interactive stuff, or I can't hear them, so I don't know if they're doing it right. So it was just frustrating because I had two kids this morning who I couldn't hear, but I was, like, trying to read their lips, and it was clear that they knew what they were doing, like, they understood things, so I was like, I really want to help you because you're clearly trying but I can't hear you so it was really frustrating but anyway let me just like brag about myself for a second I make green smoothies all the time but I went a little ham this morning I usually make it pretty simple but this is the best smoothie I've ever tasted in my life I didn't measure anything so I can't tell you exactly what I put in here but I put a banana in here like two handfuls of baby spinach and some almond milk and then I added like a dash of cinnamon half a scoop of the vanilla protein powder two tablespoons of peanut butter and then maybe like a third of a cup of rolled oats and a little bit of um, agave for sweetener. And this is the most delicious thing I've ever had in my life. You should go make it. But yeah, the weekend um, was actually really great for reading. I got a lot of reading done and not a lot of writing, which has been the opposite of what's been going on lately. So for NaNoWriMo, I'm still like on track and everything. I just honestly... I just had a lot going on over the weekend, so I didn't get as much writing done as I have been, and it's okay. Yeah, so on Saturday, I got 928 words, almost a thousand words, and then on Sunday, I got 1,363 words. So both of those are my lowest writing days of the month, but it's okay. I'm now at 42,000, about 400 words, so I have like 7,000 words to go to hit the goal. So we're on track, we're good. But as far as reading goes, I'm currently reading three books. Sorry that this is so dark. The sun's not up yet. I'm reading Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bray. I was talking about this in last week's vlog. I have the um, audiobook from my library and I only have two days left on my loan. So I've been trying to rush to finish it. I think my loan is actually done Wednesday night. So I have all day today, all day tomorrow, and all day on Wednesday to finish this. I'm 45% of the way through, which means I'm about 10 hours in. So I think I have a little less than 12 hours left. So we're gonna be really trying to finish that in the next couple of days. And then I'm also reading Inner Demons by Sarah Cannon. This is the second book in the series. And I am 57% of the way through this one. Then I'm also reading Almost Home by Madison Kuhn. This is a poetry collection. And I'm currently... 94 pages into this one and I think it's less than 200 pages so I'm about halfway done in this one as well I'm halfway through all of my books is the gist here but yeah welcome to the new vlog hope you guys had a good weekend okay so it's actually like kind of nice today it's not like 30 degrees this morning like it has been it's 52 out there right now but I'm going to listen to my audiobook and go for a quick walk like I did over the summer every morning because I miss having that as part of my routine <laughs> Hey guys, so it's now about 10 o'clock. I ended up just deciding to squeeze in my workout right after my walk this morning. Then I showered and got ready. I've been listening to the audiobook of Before the Devil Breaks You all morning. And I really love when I have these like long chunks of time when I'm able to listen to it because I feel like I get a lot more into the story than just listening to it in short bursts. But now we're 54% of the way through. I'm over 11 and a half hours. So I think I listened to like an hour and a half of it so far today. And I'm just about to get to work. I've got some email stuff to do and I want to get some writing done. But I have an unboxing to do for you guys today. I'm really, really excited about this one. I'll have all the info linked down below in the description. It's called the Bite Me Box and it's supposed to be the hottest paranormal romance novels. I was super excited when this company reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do an unboxing on my channel. And um, to be honest with you, I got this either last night or the night before. It got here really late and so I was like, I don't wanna film at like 10 o'clock at night. 
but I was really excited about it. So I've already looked inside. I already know what's inside of here and you guys are gonna die. So yeah, we'll save the books for last. There's actually three books in here and they're packaged up real nice. So we've got a bookmark in here that has a little tassel. This box's theme is seduced by vampires. So I think it's all vampire stuff. It has a quote from Nina Dobrev on it. Oh, and this is what, this is the spoiler card. It looks like the next box is going to be dragons and shifters. This came in this cute little envelope. It's basically just swag for a bunch of different paranormal books. And then it has almost like a little magazine that comes with it with the authors that are featured in this box. And it tells you a little bit about the author and it has like a Q and A with the authors. So I personally love watching like interviews of authors and stuff and like hearing about their writing process and stuff. So this is something I would really, really like. And then it comes with these two tiny little red bath bombs, vampire red bath bombs. I wonder if it makes your entire tub red. And then it's got a ton of chocolate in here. It's the really nice Ghirardelli chocolate too. There's dark chocolate and sea salt caramel, milk chocolate fudge caramel, milk chocolate, and milk chocolate peppermint brownie. And then the next thing you'll see, it all really goes together for the perfect like self-care kind of night. You've got your bath bomb, you've got your chocolate, you've got your wine glass and your paranormal romance books if you wanna have a night in the bath. This is one of those wine glasses, it's like metal and it has a little lid on it. It just says bite me box on the front. I got so excited when I saw this. You guys know how much I love my wine. This was so cute. It's like a perfect size for my hand too. So now to the books. I tried really hard to maintain the packaging instead of just like ripping it open when I opened it, but I have already looked in here. We have I Am The Wild, Sinjin, and My Viking Vampire. This one's a US Today bestselling author. This is a New York Times bestselling author. I think all of these are indie published too, which I'm actually really excited about because I have a hard time like finding these books on my own. So I like that this box is highlighting, you know, not just like the popular releases, it's helping you find other books out there. And you get three in one box. So that's like really exciting. I swear I'm gonna have a night where I'm gonna like take a bath with my chocolate and my wine and read one of these books. So thank you so much to the Bite Me Box team for sending me this box. Like I said, I'll have all of the info linked down below in the description if you want to go check them out. So yeah, now I'm just gonna get to my emails and my writing and I want to update my website a little bit more today. Bit of a change of plans. I ended up changing my outfit. <laughs> I didn't like what I was wearing. Now I have this on. I keep trying to like switch it up and stop wearing the same like couple of things over and over again, but then I never like the new things that I wear. So I just go back to what I know. I wear like black jeans or black leggings every single day. But as you just saw, I just made a cup of coffee and put it in the fridge because I don't like hot coffee unless it's a latte. I only like iced coffee. So I'm gonna make myself an iced coffee from home instead of going to Starbucks and then finally get started. I'm having a bit of a slow start today, but I don't usually work out first thing in the morning. So that's why I'm a little behind schedule. What did I do with that? Every time I sit down and get ready to talk, I misplace my drink, but I found it. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I keep getting really thrown off on what time it actually is because my watch says it's 10, my phone says it's 11, and I don't know how my watch got off track. Anyway, I think it's 11. I just finished getting ready. I'm going to a concert tonight with one of my friends and I'm not gonna have enough time to like get ready after work. I'm just gonna head straight there. So I'm gonna show up to an elementary school picking up the kids in my concert outfit. <laughs> it's funny because every time I look even remotely nice when I pick them up, like if I do anything to myself, they're always like, are you going somewhere? <laughs> and usually I'm like, no, I was just filming a video. But I'm really excited. We're going to see The Main tonight, which is one of my absolute favorite bands. I've been obsessed with them since high school. I think the last time I saw them actually was either my junior or my senior year because we went and saw them in concert I think junior year and then we saw them at Warp Tour my senior year but either way they're one of my favorite bands to see perform live so I'm really really excited I've been listening to their set list all morning but I have made a lot of progress in Before the Devil Breaks You actually I now only have seven and a half hours left of the audiobook which sounds like a lot but I had like 12 and a half hours left so I've listened to five hours I'm gonna listen to it on my drive to and from work as usual I read a little more of Inner Demons last night I think I only have like 50 or less pages of that left. And I ended up writing over 2,000 words for NaNoWriMo yesterday. So overall, a pretty productive day, I would say. I haven't written anything today, um, and I definitely want to get that done before I go to nannying because I know it's not going to happen at any other time today. But I made some notes for myself yesterday, like a plan of what to do today. So I'm ready. I just need to sit down and get it done. And I think I'm going to change. I keep going back and forth between this bodysuit and a black one, and I think I'm just going to go with the black one. I'm just saying that because if you see me in the next clip and I'm not wearing this, that's why. <laughs> 
can't make up my mind. I'm really happy though because it was supposed to start snowing today, but now it looks like it's gonna start snowing tomorrow. So it's still gonna be around like 50 degrees when we're there, which is not bad at all. I'm really happy about that. And I'm having an energy drink. It's my caffeinated drink for the day because I know I don't wanna go out and buy coffee today because who knows how much money I'm gonna spend tonight. So we're not doing that. And try and get my writing and everything done before I have to head to nanning today. And I wanna film a video today because this month, has been difficult. I haven't had a lot of ideas for videos, or I've had ideas. I have a whole running list of videos I wanna film, but I have to wait to film them. You'll see why when they eventually go up. I've had an issue with timing. I've had this chunk in November where none of my videos timing works, so I have nothing to post right now, and I'm really just like slightly annoyed by it. But if nothing else, I wanna film a playlist video for my second channel for my NaNoWriMo playlist for this month because it's really, really fun. So we have a lot to accomplish in the next like three hours or so, but I think we can get it done. Okay, it's now about 12.30 and I just got my word count in for the day. We're now at, I don't know if you can see that, 46,207 and I managed to get almost 1,800 words today. Now let's see if I can squeeze in filming a video before it's time to leave. Okay, so I just finished getting a video filmed. It's 1.15, so we have about an hour left. I realized I've been so busy this morning that I've forgotten to eat, so I'm gonna go get something for lunch. And I've decided I want to wear the black bodysuit instead. So I'm gonna change. I've had too much caffeine this morning and not enough to eat. I was like shaking through filming that video. So I need to chill. So I just made myself a quick burrito. I always do this when I get like really busy or really into something. I'll just go hours and hours and hours without eating and not even realize it. But look what just came in the mail. It's so skinny. I'm a little surprised but I'm so freaking excited for this. I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna make myself finish the books I'm reading right now before I start this one. So now I'm even more motivated to finish them. I just really wanna finish Before the Devil Breaks You, obviously, because tomorrow is the last day I have that audiobook. And then I'm almost done with Inner Demons, so I just really wanna knock that out. I would love to start this tomorrow. And then having the concert tonight, it's gonna throw everything for a loop, but I'm really, really excited about it. All right, I'm heading out a little bit early because I have a package to drop off at the post office. Someone bought a book off of my Depop shop. And I think I only have like six hours of the audiobook for Before the Devil Breaks You left. And I think with my drive to and from work today, I can get that down to at least five. And then I only have five hours left to listen to tomorrow, which is very doable. So I'm really happy with that progress. Look at my hair. Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday. I had to think about that for a second. My voice actually doesn't sound that bad considering the concert last night. I thought it would be worse. But yeah, we had the concert last night. I only took one clip of the entire night because it was on my Snapchat story. So I will insert that here for your viewing pleasure. We saw the main. It was so much fun. I had a really good night. I went with one of my good friends from high school. We've been listening to them. I want to say since middle school because their first album came out in 2008 and we've been following them like ever since. They're up there with my favorite bands to see in concert. I think they're tied with Parachute for my favorite to see. And I actually didn't get home that late. I think I got home around like midnight or so, but you know, it's late for me. So I just canceled my class for this morning. It's now about nine o'clock and I'm having some tea. I know I'm going to have to work late for nannying tonight. So from now until then, we got a lot of work to do. And of course it's supposed to start snowing tonight, like right around the time I'm supposed to get off of work. So I'm a little annoyed about that. So Before the Devil Breaks You is due in 10 hours. We're 78% of the way through, which means I have four hours and 41 minutes left. I think we can make it. And then um, I didn't read any more. Did I read any more? I read two more chapters of Inner Demons yesterday. I'm 76% of the way through Inner Demons. I have like 40 pages left. We'll see if we can finish those two books today because I really want to start The Queen of Nothing. I think I'm going to film a reading vlog specific for this book when I start it. Once we're finished with that one, I want to jump to the next Vampire Academy book and read Frostbite. So yeah, this morning... I have some emails to take care of. I have a video that's going up today that I haven't finished like finalizing. I've already uploaded it, but I haven't done the description. I haven't linked to the books or done like any of the other stuff. I'm gonna take care of that this morning, try and get my writing done, and then just read and get a workout in. That's basically all I'm hoping to accomplish up until I have to leave for work today. So it's about two o'clock. I'm getting ready to leave for work. I'm gonna grab a coffee on my way because I know I'm gonna be there late and I'm crashing and I think it's gonna be kind of a rough day and it's gonna start snowing and stuff. All of these are excuses, basically. I just really want to get a cup of coffee. I got a really good workout in. I got a decent amount of work done, not as much as I was hoping to, but I wrote 1,310 words today, which means I am less than 2,500 words away from hitting the 50,000 words. So if I have a good writing day tomorrow, I can hit that. We'll see. I also might write some more tonight if I have time, depending on how long it takes me to get home from work today. Um, and I've been listening to Before the Devil Breaks You. I have two hours left on the audiobook and six hours left on my loan. We're, we're trying real hard. We're trying real hard to hit it. And I managed to get my video 
video up today and I've been editing this vlog today so it's been pretty productive. I just, I'm not used to waking up. I think I got up at like 8.30, 8.45 today. I'm not used to waking up that late. I'm used to waking up at five. So I feel like I have a four hour chunk of time that I usually get a lot done just like missing from my day. So I'm like frantically going around trying to get everything done. I'm used to having more time. Can you see me at all? I don't think so. Does that help? I just pulled into my driveway. I just finished the book. Literally like perfect timing because I was gonna lose that audiobook in an hour. Oh, I need the next book so much right now. I'm not okay, and I just want to talk about it. I have so many things to talk about, but I can't. It's the third book of the series. I can't spoil you guys. You have to go read it, but this book just really messed me up. This whole last chunk of it, I the part I was listening to on the way to work, I like showed up to pick up the kids, like just like staring off into space because I couldn't stop thinking about it, and I just wanted to keep reading it, but I couldn't. And this series, you guys, it just doesn't get enough credit. Like, yeah, it's fun and it's spooky and stuff, but like it does such a good job with like historical accuracy of the 20s and like the political and social unrest and all of these relevant issues that were going on like it's not just like romanticizing the time period like a lot of books do i just oh my god we'll talk about it more when we get inside but i'm just like not okay right now hello so we're indoors now um i want to talk about the book i don't have anything to hold up which is annoying because i have the other two uh there somewhere. I think the reason why I didn't buy it though is because it's not available in paperback yet and I have the first two in paperback so I want them all to match. <laughs> but there's a flaw in my logic because the fourth book comes out next year and I'm not gonna wait a full year to get that in paperback. I'm gonna buy the hardcover. So maybe I should just buy the hardcover. I don't know. I'm honestly very impressed with myself that I managed to finish that gigantic audiobook before I lost my loan. But yeah, um, overall impressions of this book, five out of five stars. It was fabulous. It was beautiful. It was a masterpiece. If you haven't read these books yet, then you'll probably be happy that I just finished this one because I will stop talking about this series until February when the next book comes out. You get a break. If you're gonna read these books in any way, I would highly recommend the audiobooks. You gotta read these books, man. You gotta read these books. By far, like quality wise, some of the best books that I've read so far this year. Just phenomenal so freaking good so freaking good and then my other book that i'm reading inner demons by sarah cannon oh my gosh if this will work i have literally 10 pages left so let me turn this off and finish it and then we can talk about this book too okay i finished the book that was inner demons by sarah cannon that's the second book in her i think it's called the shadow demon saga and i enjoyed it i don't know i think i gave the first one a three out of five stars this one kind of also feels like a three star range for me. I do think the second one was better than the first one. Just like in terms of the writing and the story, I just feel like it definitely improved from the first one. I'm gonna read the third one. I'm really enjoying this series. I have a hard time reviewing it and really putting my thoughts into words on it because it's like, it's not the best thing ever. They're just like fun, trashy. I guess if you were ever going to use the term guilty pleasure reads, this would be a fitting kind of series, even though I don't really like that term. Just fast and fun paranormal romances, which sometimes I'm just in the mood for and they're really fast and easy to read. So yeah, I'm gonna pick up the third book. Not right now though. My plans for what to read next, now that I finished what I was in the middle of. I'm still reading that poetry book, but our next two reads are going to be The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black and Frostbite by Rochelle Mead. But yeah, it's 7.05 right now, so I'm gonna see if I can get some more writing done for NaNoWriMo today, and then maybe start this one before I go to bed. Someone commented on my last vlog asking if I was still doing both of my NaNoWriMo projects, and the answer is yes. I'm still working on my novel, and I'm still working on my poetry collection. Both are going very well. I guess I just haven't been talking about the poetry collection anymore because it's not super easy to talk about how much progress I've made, because it's not like I've written this many words or anything. It's like, yeah, I thought about it today. <laughs> Yeah, I drafted some stuff today. I think I'm at like 115 pages in that collection right now. So it's going really well. Okay, I ended up writing some more. My word count for today is now 2,207, which means, which means our total is 48. 414. I have less than 1,600 words to write tomorrow to hit my goal on November 21st, which is over a full week of schedule. And I'm getting to like the climax of the book. Like this is tomorrow. What I write tomorrow is gonna be like a really, really big scene. And then it'll just be kind of like the falling action resolution stuff after that. So I, we're getting close to the end. I'm gonna wrap this up really soon. It's not gonna be 50,000 words, obviously, but it's not gonna be that much longer than that either, at least for this draft. I've been making notes to myself as I go of things I know I need to go back and add, but as of now, we are almost to the end, and I'm so excited. This book, 
um, is the weirdest thing I have ever written. It's just bizarre. Like, I don't even know where this came from, especially because I decided to write this, I think the day of or the day before NaNoWriMo started. If like one of my friends wrote this and I were to read this, I would be concerned about them. But it's been so fun. This has been the easiest NaNoWriMo project I have ever worked on. Like every single day, once I get into the momentum of it, like writing this has just been so easy. I have never written a book this easily before in my life and this is probably I don't know like my 15th one that I've completed like a full draft of and it's never come this easily to me and I just don't understand I don't know if that means it's really good or it's just like gibberish and like wh who did this like who thinks of this why is this a thing but anyway yeah it's almost eight o'clock we're getting close to my bedtime because I do have a 5 30 class to teach tomorrow so I'm gonna go to bed between like 8 30 and 9. So I'm gonna go wash my face, brush my teeth and stuff, and read the beginning of this before I go to bed. Good morning everyone, happy Thursday. I almost said Tuesday. It's about six o'clock, I just finished teaching my 5 30 class. I was worried that I wasn't gonna be able to like get up or I'd feel like really tired this morning because I haven't been getting up at 5 30. Like it took I think the last two days off of teaching and I like slept until eight and I was like I have totally screwed up my sleep schedule. I'm screwed. But I woke up at like 4 30 this morning wide awake. It was so weird. So yeah I'm about to go get some breakfast. I read the the prologue of Queen of Nothing, which is up there last night, but that's about it. But basically what's on the agenda is all of the usual stuff today, except I am so behind on YouTube videos. I haven't been watching anyone that I usually watch and I'm just watching like my backlog get longer and longer and longer. So I'm thinking maybe I want to like go on the treadmill today and try and get caught up on watching YouTube videos today. And then let's see if we can hit the 50K for NaNoWriMo today. It's now like 8.45. So I got some decent stuff done this morning. I got like all of my like accounting kind of stuff done. And I just got an email saying that they finished up with the appraisal for the condom and everything. And that was the thing that we were waiting on. So I'm really happy about that. And then I sat down and was like, hmm, maybe I'll just read like the first chapter. I'm now on chapter eight. <laughs> I couldn't stop reading it. So I'm like 75 pages into this so far. I have a feeling this is going to just take over my entire day. And it's so short, like I could probably finish this today. And I really just want to talk about it. I meant to film a reading vlog, like a reaction vlog while I was reading this, but I just like fell into it an hour ago. I can't decide if I'm gonna do that or not. I think I'm just gonna go hop in the shower and then try and force myself to get some work done before I let myself read any more of that so I don't do that for my entire day. I at least want to get my writing in for the day because I want to win NaNoWriMo today. And then I have knitting this afternoon. But um, another exciting thing, this was just like really good timing. My boss just sent me um, the calendar for December because there's the three kids and they all have a million different activities. They always send me a calendar for each month, which is very helpful. And my best friend Paige from college is coming to visit me the first week of December for my birthday and she's getting here on a Thursday night and so I was like oh I can work Thursday that's fine she's not getting here till late and then she's gonna be here on Friday and I was like I don't want to be like working while she's here so I was gonna have to take the day off but then I checked their December calendar and they already scheduled me as having paid time off that day so I don't have to ask for the day off and I'm getting paid for not being there that day so I'm excited about that and I also have paid time off the following Monday after that weekend so I can recuperate after our grand weekend out so that was just really good timing. I'm really excited about that. So I did indeed start the reading vlog for The Queen of Nothing. So if you want to hear my spoilery thoughts on this book, I'll have it linked up here or down below if it's already up. And I've been working on my NaNoWriMo project this morning. I've written 950 words, so we have 600 words left until we hit the 50,000 and I'm writing a very stressful scene and just like writing about it. It's like stressing me out, uh, but it's going really well. It's only 11 o'clock right now. I'm definitely going to try and finish this up before I go to nannying this afternoon. But I'm caught between like really wanting to finish the book because I'm writing such an exciting part. I'm wanting to read this book because I left off at a really exciting part. I'm not done for the day, but look where we're at. And that means I hit the word count for today. And it's not even noon yet. So I'm like super happy with that progress. Very consistent with what I've been doing. And I can't decide if I just want to sit here and just keep writing and see if I could possibly even finish this today. Because I always tend to write like a huge chunk when I get to the end of the book. Like those are always the days I do like 6,000 words. Or if I wanna go back to reading Queen of Nothing and get like other things done today instead of only getting this done today, I'm kind of on a roll. And I've been so excited to write this ending for so long. Hello, me again, another update. So I have now written 3,164 words for the day, which brings our total to 
51,578 and I'm gonna call that good for today. I'm happy with that. I still have to write the like aftermath resolution kind of scenes but I finished the big like exciting scene that I was in the middle of that I really wanted to finish and it's about 12 30 so now I have about two hours before I have to leave to get literally everything else that I need to get done. So I was just filming that playlist video for my second channel. I think I was talking about that on here a couple of days ago and I was like, oh man, I gotta figure out what time it is. I think I have to leave soon. And when I looked at my phone, I had a text from the mom saying that she's working from home today and I don't have to go today. So I think that's a sign that I'm just supposed to read this all day. If it looks like I'm crying, it's because I just put eye drops in. But I realized I haven't updated this vlog because I've been updating the reading vlog for the queen of nothing all day. It's currently about 4 45. I got a text. Did I already tell you this? That nannying got canceled for the day? If not, there we go. So I've been reading this and I got some video editing done. I've added even more to my nano project and I just got like a random burst of inspiration and started writing a little bit on my phone so I'll probably go back to that in a little bit but I am 167 pages through this now. I honestly might just finish this today so that entire reading blog is going to be me giving updates in this spot but just like my overall general impression of the book so far without any spoilers. I'm more than halfway through and obviously I'm like I can't put the book down. I'm still reading it. I started it this morning and I'm already more than halfway through the book. I'm enjoying it. I'm really happy that I'm back with these characters in this world and stuff. But so far, I don't know. I'm waiting to be like super impressed. I'm waiting for something amazing to happen right now. Like it's good. It's fine. I'm enjoying it. But I'm really hoping something's gonna happen that makes me like, that like knocks my socks off. Otherwise, this isn't gonna live up to my expectations and I'll be sad. I just finally got to the chapter that kind of answers the question of the cliffhanger that the second book left off on. I'm trying to be really general so I don't spoil anyone. And I've been waiting since I finished that second book to get that explanation. And it's not that I'm disappointed with it, but I'm not totally satisfied with it. Like it didn't pack as much of a punch as I was hoping for. And that was obviously the number one thing I was looking forward to with this book because I was like reeling after the cliffhanger of the second one. So not being blown away by that explanation has kind of put a damper on this reading experience so far. So it's about eight o'clock now and I just finished the book. I'm impressed that I managed to finish this all in one day and still get like a decent amount of stuff done. Hey guys, happy Friday. I know I say that every morning. Happy Thursday, happy Friday. It's probably annoying and I don't know why I say it. It's about 6.30, I finished my teaching for the morning. It is snowing and we'll see if the kids get a snow day or if I actually have to go in today. I finished the um, Queen of Nothing yesterday. I don't know if I told you that. It's on my bookshelf now, so I don't have it to hold up. I held off on rating it and I still haven't even made the last clip for that reading vlog yet because I wanted to sleep on it and really get my thoughts together. And I just wrote my Goodreads review for it and put that up. So I ended up giving it a 3.75 out of 5 stars, like a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, I still really enjoyed it. I read it all in one day. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little disappointing and a little underwhelming and it felt very rushed and short and things moved too fast which is really disappointing the book itself isn't like super disappointing but i'm really disappointed because i love this series so much and i had such high expectations for this last book so i'm sad i can't stop thinking about the book <laughs> i don't want to read anything else maybe i'll reread the series if you've also read it without spoiling anyone let me know what you thought of it i'm sad but yeah even though i won NaNoWriMo yesterday. I still have some more to write for my book so I think I'm gonna work on that this morning and I have some videos to edit and stuff so that'll be my morning. And you know what maybe it's a good thing that I was planning to do a reread anyway next because I already know that I love this book and I feel like rereading books when you're in like a book hangover kind of mode is the easiest kind of book to get into and I have the audiobook from Scribd so maybe I'll start with this one today to help me feel better. Oh, I'm so disappointed that I'm disappointed. Hey guys, so it's about 12 o'clock now and I figured we were due for an update. Um, this morning has been fabulous. Now looking back on this week, I'm super happy with all the things that I managed to finish. So I finished with my Queen of Nothing vlog, filmed the last clip, got it all edited, exported, uploaded. It is now up on my channel. You can watch it if you'd like, only if you've read the book. And I finished my NaNoWriMo novel. Um, it's super short. 
this draft is super short. I added another 1,426 words today, which means we're at 53,004 words. A 53,000 word draft. I don't know if I've ever written a draft that short, but like I got to the end, it feels complete. I made a list of things that I already know I need to change, uh, things I need to go back in, a big thing that happened with this book, which I knew it was because I was just like pantsing it and I had no idea what I was doing. I have random characters just disappear and just like never show back up halfway through the book or, or just like never mentioned again. So that's gonna be a big revision thing. I got a draft done and I'm really, really excited about it. And I'm still like, a lot of times I come out of NaNoWriMo feeling kind of burnt out. Like I don't wanna look at it. I don't wanna work on it for a while. I just need a break. And I don't feel that way. So I think I'm gonna jump straight into revisions and like adding stuff in because I'm still kind of you know doing the rough draft I'm still gonna be adding quite a few things to it and I'm still working on my poetry collection as well um but yeah this week ended up being really good I finished Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bray I finished Inner Demons by Sarah Cannon I finished Queen of Nothing by Holly Black finished three books I finished writing my book got quite a few videos done it's been a productive week I'm very happy with that I've just been sitting here taking care of emails and sending more chapters to my beta readers who are working on my other book and it's Friday and do you know what that means I'm allowed to go to Starbucks today. Um, it's snowing and I'm pretty sure my car is like totally covered. So I'm gonna go out, dig that out, get that thought out before I have to worry about going to work today, go grab a cup of coffee. I honestly actually don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of my day. I just like finished so many things that were ongoing that I'm just kind of like, what now? <laughs> Maybe I'll start a frostbite today. I think I'm gonna start the audiobook on my drive to work today. And now we get to start on revisions. I'm excited. Revisions is always my favorite part of the process, but I've enjoyed doing this rough draft more than I've ever enjoyed a rough draft. Under your control Everything is real So hit me So hit me Hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With